Three hours ago, they wanted it to, to start the protest at 7 o'clock right at the Airways Police Precinct. Uh, Local 24's Annette Pegler has been there uh, or around that area since the beginning. And Annette, you said it was tense before the arrest started. Yeah, that's right, Richard. Very tense. And that protest was moved about an hour ago from the Airways Police Precinct right here to Gill and Elvis Presley. That's where Martavius Banks' family showed up. His mother, we're told, was here as well. And tonight's protest was actually organized by a man named Mario Ditton. And he said he created this protest or organized this protest because he wanted to make a statement to the Memphis Police Department to get their officers better trained. Roughly 50 protesters stood at the corner of Airways and Truett, chanting, hands up, don't shoot, and no justice, no peace, in hopes of getting the Memphis Police Department and Mayor Jim Strickland's attention. Mayor Jim Strickland and Mike Rollins, they need to get together, and they need to train the officer properly. Mario Denton, founder of Positive Leadership Foundation, says he's tired of seeing officer-involved shootings like the one Monday night in his neighborhood. They should have kept them body cams on, and if they wasn't, if they wasn't in the wrong, why did they turn them off? Wednesday's protest is a direct response to the shooting of Martavius Banks that left him hospitalized in critical condition. Went back to 2016 when the police officer came into my home, and I called 911 for a victim that had got shot. And they came in and beat me, and I'm the one that called 911. And when I heard that situation, it just brought back memories of that. Memphis Police Director Mike Rollins said all three officers are under investigation after it was revealed that one officer never turned on his body camera and two other officers turned theirs off shortly after the traffic stop. Now many activists are demanding answers. I'm hoping after this tonight that we all can sit down and talk about what's going on in the city. And how can we come up with better solutions? And Martavius Banks remains in the hospital in critical condition. We are going to be monitoring his condition all evening long. Reporting live in South Memphis, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.